And there she is. The gyro's here. It's finally here. Dennis over at Gyrotechnic finally got it out. Got the ra the razor blades that they make there. And there she is. What'd you do? I got it all. You want to look at it? Huh? You already got it all? What'd you do? Oh, you already got it built and everything? No, I, I got it taken off the truck from what it was and it's on that camera there. All right, here we go. Unloading the brand new Gyrotechnic Gyroplane. Oh, I wish old Tyler was here now. Captain Ron, we're gonna have an exciting project. It's a very newly designed single-place gyroplane. Uh, powered by, this one will be powered by the Rotex 582. Oh, we've been waiting a while, excited for this event. How many boxes we have? Oh, it's quite a bit. Quite a few boxes, wow. All right, that looks like the main airframe and all the components. Yeah, we should have this uh, additional to this box. We should have a blade box and a hub bar box. And I see them in the truck. Uh, maybe we can put those on these roll arounds. All right, here comes the rotor blades and the rotor hub. They're 25 foot rotor blades. Looking good. Be a surprise inside. <laughs> uh oh, battery dead on the grill. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Next go. one. All right, surprise. Oh, you ready? Let's you ready? You ready? Hey! Oh, a whole oh, bunch wow. of a whole bunch of wreck. Oh, there it is. A lot of stuff. Get these end ones out. Let me get that out. Really oh, my. look at the blue. I got to get another battery. <laughs> the blue. I don't know if you can see it. You see that? Yeah, tilt it like that. Oh, that blue looks good. So here is a quick little preview of what the packaging looked like. Dennis over at Gyrotechnic did an absolute amazing job. It is all nice and safe. You guys saw how thick those nice two by fours were. I know it's a little dark, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some tables up over there and pull all this out and get it ready to go.
to show you guys how amazing this paint job looks. I don't know if I can get the shine on it. Man, it looks absolutely beautiful. We're going to have a light blue and a bright yellow. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Is that the other tail, the tail piece? Another tail piece? Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to look absolutely incredible. The, the, two, two, sides. the two horizontals of the tail. Yes. Oh, Beautiful. I didn't, think, I didn't think you could fit all this in that one box. Neither did I. There's a lot of stuff in one box. Jeez. I think the only thing less is just like the instrument panel, small stuff. Here's the seat. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Four parts. Four parts. You see, everything is is all in a kit form, all part number and identified. So, like everything in this kit goes together. So, like yes. this, it comes with its this, own. This is all the push rods, control push rods, with the the rods inserts are all all made up beautifully and uh, anodized. And all the all the instructions are all within its own package. So, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely a huge plus with Dennis over at Gyrotechnic is this insane attention to detail with this little packaging. Yep. Oh, wow. The Kirky Racing Seat. Yeah, it's a, oh my God. Wow. Look at that. 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 Front wheel, man, those look so good. Yeah, nice. Look at the Polished aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. Deep up. Good. Little progress update. Here's kind of all what everything we've got so far. The box isn't even halfway empty, but got all the wheels and tires all set up, ready to go. The Kirky racing seat with the cover. One of the gas tanks. It's just, I have to really give it to Dennis. Uh, with all of these attention to detail. I mean, everything is all individually labeled and then all individually packaged with what it goes with. So everything in this bag kind of goes together. So it's definitely, definitely, well, huge attention to detail. They're getting a second gas tank out. Here, this is kind of what we got left. So you can kind of see everything was, I don't see how he actually fit all of this stuff in this box, in this crate, because there was, Everything you saw over there on those tables came out of this box. It hasn't came out anywhere else. These are just the, the rotor blades and the rotor head assembly. So all of that is just one its own piece. Tank number two. Tank number two. <laughs> tank number two out. Tank number two. It's crazy to think that all of this stuff is gonna go together and I'm gonna wear it fly around. Oh yeah. Yep, beautiful stuff. box is finally empty and here's all the parts 
pretty much all the parts laid out. We're still missing a couple of things that Dennis is sending us, like some instruments and stuff, but this is everything. Here's the rotor head, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I, I can't actually believe how nice the detail is on the instructions, on all the parts. And I really don't know how I got all of it in that box because we, we're kind of running out of space here on these tables. But Dennis was kind enough to send us a build stand, so we're going to put that together so we can start wrenching on this thing. All right, guys, so everything is officially taken out of the box. It's all on these tables behind me. I know you guys have kind of seen a little bit of a time lapse, but I really want to just do an overview of everything. So I'll flip the camera around and here is everything that was in that box. We've got the, the two parts of the tail section here. This is a build stand that Dennis over at Gyrotechnic sent us to help with the build. I really appreciate him sending me that because it's definitely going to be a lifesaver. So coming over here on the table, I've really got to give it to Dennis and the guys over at Gyrotechnic and what they're doing. This stuff is absolutely incredible. I mean, everything is all individually packaged. I know we kind of touched on it in a little bit of the, when we were unboxing, but I really want to give you guys a close up. All of these little pieces are all just individually packaged. They're labeled and they all like all of this and this bag go together. So all of everything goes together in each bag and opening up each bag is going to be kind of like a little mystery box. Like I'm going to open all this and just try and play with it and see what all of this stuff goes where and just put everything together. So we got the two gas tanks, the seat cover, the other side of the tail, the actual Kirky seat. Uh, we got some gas mount, the gas tank mounts, the harness, obviously the tires. And this is the main section. I just want you guys to look at this paint. I cannot get over how beautiful this anodized blue looks on this tail section. But yeah, this project is not going to be a race build. This is a project for me and my grandpa. And it's just kind of like a heritage to our family. My dad and him built all these gyros together. And me and him have never built one. And this gyro is going to be mine. He's going to be helping me build this gyro. And I cannot wait to share the experience with you guys as well as share the experience with him. And I'm really grateful to have him help me build this thing because... You know, he built he built this one. I've never built one. He's built multiple before, so he's going to be a crucial part in building this and helping me out. So that is all for this first introduction of the new gyro. If you guys have any names you guys think about, put them down in the comments down below. I don't know what we're going to call it yet. I've got the tail number on reserve, but I kind of want to give it a little cool, unique name. But if you guys are new around here, if you could do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.